What is up, you? So, next month marks one year. Right now, yeah, what is next month? January, June, June, June marks end of June marks the next. Uh, start is one year of ownership, and where I have come with this truck in a year. So I got a year's worth, almost a year's worth of, of mods, I guess, going on on this truck, and I. Uh, I couldn't be even more happier with, with how this truck is. Like I, I wouldn't I had so many huge plans to do all this, but with Chris in school, I'm paying for we're we're in a position where we're paying for that out, outright. So we're no debts over here for finished up school at LSU. She's got a, one, I think one year I don't even know. I don't know if I to keep up with that. She got one year I think it's one year, don't quote me. One year left, so it'll all work out in the end. That's when I could do some real crazy, crazy mods. But I mean for right now Dude, this little truck has been amazing. I have completely, completely stoked. We got a camping, we got a Toyota Jamboree tomorrow. They got a camping trip, Arkansas, uh, next month when I get off the boat. So I got that. But one year of mods. So far, this is a cumulative of everything I've done to this little truck, you know? And I, I guess I'll start at the outside first, you know? I've, uh, <clears throat> these are the uh, faux pro, <laughs> faux pro <laughs> headlights. Oh, uh, at the uh, freaking crap! I'm drawing a blank, but it's a, a unique depot depot headlight, something like that. I've had these on now for about two months. No leaks, dude. I'm telling you, these things look exactly OEM, and it blow. It's great, you know. Everything works. Uh, LEDs, the DRLs are perfectly, perfectly bright, just as bright as the factory ones. It's, so I'm, I'm hoping those. I mean, for a fraction of the cost, these are only three hundred bucks. For compared to the TRD Pros are two grand. I blows my mind. Boom. Uh, next thing I did is I blacked out this grill, the grill trim. I I cheaped out. I shouldn't have cheaped out. I went uh I went with the plastic dip. I probably should have went ahead and purchased the uh the trim piece. But whenever the uh, plastic dip wears, I'll go back to Toyota, and I'll, I'll purchase it purchase it then. Uh, right now it looks good. It has no issues. So I really, I really can't complain on anything about it. I, uh, I also installed these uh, Raptor, faux Raptor grill lights, which I hooked up to my Switch Pros to make come on or if I want them on. They're uh, some, old, some from AutoZone. They got little L brackets. And all I did was drill a hole into the backside of the uh, grill and they, they are mounted up in there perfectly. And it just, it looks good. Looks really good actually. So, <clears throat> Then I also got the TRD Pro fog lamps, which I purchased these brand new. It's kind of a pricey, pricey purchase if, as far as fog lights go. But I wanted the look of the factory because I, I don't know when I'll do a bumper or if I'll do just the, the uh, slimline bumper or hidden winch. I'm not, I'm not sure right now. I'm, where am I, where everything is? It's just I haven't had no need for. So these work perfectly. I got a uh, some yellow. <laughs> yellow jdm tape on here and it i like the look it looks it just it's a perfect little offset yellow i've always kind of been a fan of the yellow yellow fog so it's a good good nice offset for the uh for the uh for the headlights which i do have hids in here to match standard halogen highs but L L hids to match the leds uh but yeah yeah the yellow is a good offset i find it looks real good really clean 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 uh <clears throat> Next, I got the uh, obviously onboard air, which I did a video about my setup. I got the uh, hook up in the front with the hook up in the rear, which I did a updated rear. But this is ARB Quick Connect, so I got my front, and I also got the rear. Then I got the twin compressor mounted under the hood from the Slee Off Road bracket, and I got the uh, right here. This bracket in here is the SDHQ bracket mount, so I get the SDHQ. Uh, well, I get the Switch Pros 9100 on board. Uh, Next, you got the uh, the rigids, the rigid D series with the Cali Rays hood brackets. These D series are bright as crap. I got the uh, amber covers on just because I picked them up the other day. I usually have the blacks on, but I picked the ambers up just to kind of have them, run them for a little while. I haven't actually even ran, even ran them at nighttime yet, so <laughs> I have no idea if it how they even look. Uh, my truck came standard with packaged out with the blackout option, which I'm happy I got. Uh, tires. There's already 265 75 Wrangler dirt tracks. Uh, another video I said it, I went with those because again that one fits under the rear.
perfect and without a lift or anything. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting out of breath. Uh, well, anyway, everything fits perfectly. You ain't got, I mean, you don't have any kind of rubbing, any kind of anything. So it, it all, it all works. So that's really why I went with those. I know, I know if whenever I lift them, I'm going to go with the bigger size, but right now it works perfectly. I also got the, uh, what is that company? Oh, uh, eco ecological, ecological bumper covers. These are, these were, I think 200 bucks for these bumper covers. I got them to, they already came painted from the, from them and the paint matching is awesome. Like, man. I don't know if the video makes it look like there's anything different up and close there's nothing it looks like it was factory and i'm happy with it. i can't believe i didn't get that but i didn't want the technology package on this truck whenever i got it i didn't want the dual the dual climate or leather i, didn't, I don't like that oh what else i got okay oh yeah this is my updated rear arb which i can see if i can get a little bit better but i get their arb mounted bracket mounted onto my uh my uh hitch receiver it is solid so, <laughs> solid even if it does break a couple little pieces but i i don't have I have an idea of oliver dragon but dude this thing is amazing uh, i had to pick up the header bar because for some reason that's not standard is this header bar here which i'm happy i did obviously get the bike max but ah bike rack mounts and uh and some cast can't some uh, roto packs I actually picked off of a guy for only 100 bucks for both of those which ain't bad anybody who got roto packs knows <laughs> I think they're like 70 bucks a pop then you got a, a really good deal so i really can't complain and so far i one camping trip we have done they, they prove pretty useful i kind of wish i might go get a water one more so gas but but video you couldn't pass it up uh so that's about it on the outside let's take a look on the inside the interior is pretty somewhat standard og fabrications makes these sweet molly panel racks for these doors i have a i mean pretty much everything that i used to have in this drawer here the cubby i now have here uh, his uh instructions called to screw this in to the plastic what i found was you take the panel off you can actually drill the hole all the way through there's nothing here on the back side of any of this so you can get a washer and actually bolt that thing on it is it is on there it is pretty good <laughs> i am happy about that that was only a 90 dollar buy buy for this and i'm i support that dude any day both both sides got it he actually makes a makes a mount for here but that's just a little too too much uh obviously seat covers got to have some seat covers cover king ballistics these things go door back door to get some air light in this bitch these things are awesome this is my third set from cover king and i am i am 110 percent 110 percent happy with these seat covers i mean i mean obviously you can't do that but the whole bit look these things are amazing how, how good a quality they are and I'll, i stand behind cover king all day long you got the uh atomic monkey fire hydrant fire yeah, fire extinguisher mount which is just something that hooks into the uh the uh poles from the headrest and i love it uh that's about it for the back finish up the front then you know of course you got the expedition essentials mount with the uh, foam mount and the rail i got the basic rail i don't think i need the, that other one kind of outrageous i just it was it didn't really fit what i honestly do this, this is more for i got a phone and i got a tablet mount over here to take off to have and i i love this this has been a great 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 purchase my uh my next thing i did obviously the floor mats got those but this little thing this is the g uh, g screen by uh genesis off-road it's very very <laughs> very pricey as far as most mods go i think it's like four to five hundred bucks for just this it's really to monitor a dual battery setup but I talked to, uh, I forgot his name, but I talked to him and he, I was able to wire it up to a single battery. But the main reason I got it was for the digital air gauge. That was the seller point right there. So the reason it's always yellow instead of green is because I don't have a dual battery. So it's gonna be yellow unless there's an issue, then it'll pop red if my batteries are ever close to being dead. But that was the seller point, it was the digital air gauge. So that was what made me get it. Pretty simple, hold it, turn it off, boom, 
done. Uh, obviously, the meso, miso, meso, I'm not quite sure how to say it. Coin holder, definitely a must and a need. I also got the uh, the uh, OCD organizers. I can't believe Toyota didn't even include something like this. Like that, that don't even make sense. Blows my mind. Didn't even have that. Just a big open hole of nothing right there. Deep Lagoon, man. Deep Lagoon. But that's about it for this truck, man. Like I said, it's a 2018 Toyota, and this is this is about it. I can't, I can't. I'm pretty happy with the mods are so far. It, like I said, it's done everything I needed to do. It pulls, got a 16 foot Ranger or a 17 foot Ranger. It pulls it perfectly. I can't complain. Uh, once or so. Hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all have any ideas or anything else I should do, man? Shoot a little comment. I don't care. I'll read it. Uh, if y'all need help with anything, I've done most of the stuff all myself. Actually, I've done everything all myself. You know. Oh, I've got the little locks back there. Little things like five bucks worth of locks for both of these. Got that and the water pump. But appreciate it.